Hi guys, it's Ben here. How is it going? It is match day. Liverpool versus West Ham. It has finally arrived. I've been hyping this for so long. I've been thinking about this day for so long uh, and it is finally here. We are in uh, Posh Pads in Liverpool uh, on Duke Street. Um, we came up here yesterday. Uh, there's four of us here today, uh, including a West Ham fan. We're all going to watch the game later on in the main stand. But yes, um, we had a great night out last night, went to Vincent, the restaurant uh, down by Chapel Street, uh, went to Heebie Jeebies for a few, I've not been there in a while, so great to get back there. But anyway, all you care about is the football, um, and yeah, the Reds are playing, and I'm so confident. I, I know that the, the rest of the top six have done well so far, Chelsea have got a win, Spurs have got a win, um, City play Arsenal today as well, uh, United got a win against Leicester, so yeah, we need, I mean, you know, it's early on, but we need to give it the pace, we need to win, we need to beat West Ham today, there's no excuses, no uh, ex exceptions made, uh, so yes, we're going to get to Anfield very shortly, uh, once I've showered, and I cannot wait. My prediction in my preview was 2-1, it was quite conservative, um, I think it might be slightly more than that, I think we might smash these, but let's have a look, let's see how we get on. Here we go, we're back. We are back. So just coming out of the ground now, 4-0 win for the Reds, top of the league, I know it's early days, but that performance was so promising, honestly, so much about that was um, was great to see, so easy on the eye, um, the football was terrific, two goals in each half, Mane getting a couple, um, honestly couldn't ask for any more, clean sheet, no trouble at all, maybe a set piece in the first half, but generally, um, so promising, you know, I'm, I'm keeping myself tight-lipped, but yeah. So it's just gone long on a clock, uh, we're at the service station, just sent a load of City fans, they're obviously buoyant after their win at the Emirates today. Um, the biggest thing today, so like we're doing, the, we've got a draft fantasy league right, so instead of your normal fantasy football where you can pick players for a certain price and they're in your team, like uh, everyone's got like Kane and Salah, um, it's a draft so obviously each player can only be owned by one and there are trades involved. So. Um, City fans being weird. Um, so we've just been thrashing out deals in the car. Um, and yeah, so Mane is my is my my main man. He scored scored twice today. I've got the Bruyne, who's a good asset for me. I've been trying to poach Mo Salah, but it's not happening. Uh, Robertson and Alexander Arnold I've got not for sale. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can thrash out any deals in the next few minutes. But um, no, very happy with today's football. Uh, from I'm top of the fantasy league, and the Reds are top of the football league. Doesn't get any better than that. For Ramsey. And someone cap. <laughs> so who's cap in the team? I mean, most players. I'll have him. If I need him. Hello. Hello. Right. Come on. Let's. let's <laughs> come on. I don't want. I don't want to get home. I've got. Two You've just hours, done a trade. Two hours to go. Oh come on, you're off your head, Tom. Bellerin, <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey, and Maratta for Van Armhol, Wood, and Willian. You're off your head. Well, pick a different defender, but I, I couldn't imagine you like Ben Davis. No one seems to. Listen, I go Willian for Ramsey. Straight up. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Well, let me tell you, huh? 
Harry wants Ramsey, and so I'm sure that you can get a deal with him. It's midnight, I've just got home, never been more tired in my life after the night out last night. The day of like drinking today and travelling around, look and feel horrendous. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to get the vlog up tonight, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, let's get some sleep. And it's the morning after, it's the dreaded Monday, um, back to work. Nobody wants to go to work after just watching Liverpool do that to West Ham, just because you just want to carry on celebrating and enjoying watching the Reds. I wish I could watch them every single day, but no, we've got to wait till next Monday night now. I just want to watch them again now. Um, but honestly, what a performance. Uh, it's just been the members sale for the Brighton game. Got a ticket for that. Um, so, yeah, as I say, I'd advise anyone that doesn't get tickets or didn't get tickets through the July sale um, to just keep going on the member sales before each game. Uh, every game is going to be in hot demand now because they're playing so well. So, just some final thoughts then on the game and the Premier League weekend as a whole. Weekend one is in the bag. Uh, we are top of the league after it. A 4 0 went home to West Ham. Um, and I think that is going to be the case. A lot of teams are going to come to Anfield this season. And they, they didn't really have a go. Um, I think they tried. They tried to keep the ball to no avail. The midfield just got completely overpowered. I think our midfield is so underrated. Um, you know, Kate is obviously going to take the plaudits, and rightly so, but Milner and Wijnaldum. <laughs> I mean, p people might have thought with the addition of Fabinho this season that uh, those two might, you know, be sacrificed. But that is not just simply not going to be the case. They've both got absolutely huge roles to play in this squad. Wijnaldum was tremendous. His energy, uh, his passing, his, his positional awareness, always showing for it. It, is, it was a relatively flat midfield three. Um, all, all of them could do all of the jobs, you know, defensively and uh, offensively. Um, so that was just really, really easy on the eye. Um, didn't have to break into, into third gear at all. Um, defensively, um, I thought Trent maybe was the only one that slightly struggled. I thought Felipe Anderson had an okay game down there on the left-hand side for West Ham. Um, but Robertson, um, tremendous. You can tell he's had the summer off. Van Dijk, as boss as always. Gomez looked very comfortable next to Van Dijk. I think, don't think he did himself any harm um, in the kind of battle to partner Van Dijk this season. And then the front three was tremendous. Um, so, yeah, I mean... So far, so good. And, you know, we've got an away game next against Palace. You know, a slightly, a slightly different test, a slightly tougher test, a small pitch. Um, so let's, you know, we've, we've uh, we won there late last season. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they, they obviously got a good win at Fulham. In terms of other Premier League sides, Man City obviously have dispatched Arsenal. Not sure how good a result that is at the moment uh, for City, I mean. Not, not sure how impressive or significant a win that is. I'm not sure what kind of force Arsenal are going to be this season. They didn't look very good yesterday at all. Um, but obviously they're without a lot of key players. Um, I thought Gwen Doozy, to be honest, struggled for them in midfield. Um, and yeah, it was just, it, it wasn't the Arsenal that I'm expecting to see this season, but you know, by the same token, I, I think they probably will end up finishing uh, fifth or sixth. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's all very positive. I think us and City, you know, I'd still say we are the, the, the two favourites. Chelsea got a good win at Huddersfield, so let's not write them off. Man United did get the win, although it didn't look convincing in doing so. Um, what do you guys think? Leave a comment with your thoughts on the opening weekend of the season. Is it going to be a two-horse race? Are we going to win the league? Who was your man on the match against West Ham? Mine was Wijnaldum. Um, so, yeah, subscribe to this channel if you're new. Uh, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Uh, and I'll see you next time.